So once I shade the nose in, it's going to pop out something like that or that. And I've got this little dip right here. Notice the nostrils are not circles. And this comes out to the side of them. Eventually we'll be shading in this a little bit to give yourself a little bit of volume. So now I have to create the lips. What I'm going to do is start down here and draw wide and then curve up a little bit. And then I'm going to create that little middle line. You can see the shape of that and then the top line. There's a more masculine version, but pretty much the same thing. So I'm starting on this line right here. Coming over. Oh, by the way, the width of the nose and width of the mouth. So width of the nose is right here below the inside corner of the eye. I should have done this earlier. About there. Width of the mouth is under the pupil if the eye is looking straight ahead. So I want you to go ahead and draw these little lines to make you've got that extra accurate. Okay, so I'm coming wide here, almost straight on that line, and then curving up a little bit for the bottom lip. This is not the line between the lips. This is the line under the bottom lip. It's that one right down there. Now I'm going to go ahead right up here, and I'm going to create a smile. This is the top of the bottom lip. And then I'm going to have it come down here and curve over to that. Different people have different shaped lips. This is only the bottom lip. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to mimic this. So I'm doing a smile. Try to get it even. I see that these lines are off a little. So it's a similar shape to this. It's just bigger, wider. And create that top lip. If you want to give it a little fatter lip, you can curve this up a little bit. Something like that. If you want it to smile, just basically come to the edges and make it smile in here. In this particular one, we're not going to do an open mouth or anything. We're just creating some closed lips. Now, the shading on this is really important. Shading here, you can see it's dark between the lips and then it gradually gets lighter. Dark under the lip where you've got a shadow gradually gets lighter. So I can start here. And this would be easier if I could turn the paper upside down. So I'm pressing hard and light, hard and light, hard and light. Almost like an airplane with its wheels on the runway and then taking off. Hard and light, hard and light. So it gives you that gradual shading. So I'm going up a little higher right here. And then I do the reverse here. Hard and light. I don't want it to look like a mustache. So I don't want to do big harsh lines here. I don't want the spaces to be really far apart either. So just kind of work them together. And you can blend a little bit. And then I'm kind of doing the same thing up here. Hard light. Just a little light shading here. A little bit of blending. 